this video, I'm gonna share with you how I remove bugs from the front end of cars with none other than Meguiar's wheel brightener. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you're here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So I know what you're thinking. Why in the world would I use Meguiar's wheel brightener to remove bugs from the front end of the car paint or the front end of vehicles? Well, I actually reserve this technique specifically to bugs that are really stuck on and bugs that have not been being cleaned off in a long time. So I'm actually gonna couple a couple things with the wheel brightener. Yes, I'm gonna have my wheel brightener diluted five to one, but I'm also gonna use my bug sponge and my wheel brush because this is feathered at the end, so it's gonna be softer, it's not gonna scratch anything, and I'm gonna use this to get in all the cracks and crevices of this front end of this car specifically. So let me show you guys the bugs I'm dealing with and show you the techniques that I'm gonna use to attack it. So check out the front end of this car. We have a bunch of different materials we have paint, we have this black sort of uh, clear coated piece that's plastic right here. We've got these chrome finished pieces. We've got all these tiny little cracks and crevices down here. But the front end of this car has actually not been kind of debugged in a long time. So we've got some pretty bu some bugs that are pretty stuck on. We've got some bugs down here in these cracks and crevices. We've got them even on the front of this paint here, right here, here, here on the hood. And we pretty much just have them everywhere. And I don't want to spend a ton of time debugging it. And so I'm gonna go with my most aggressive solution here with my five to one Meguiar's wheel brightener. So I'm actually gonna approach this the same way that I approach kind of how to remove bugs in any situation. I'm just gonna spray this directly on the paint as a disclaimer. Meguiar's wheel brightener does not hurt the paint. It's safe for clear coat. It's safe for plastic. It is not safe for glass. So keep it away from glass and you'll be okay. But once again, I'm gonna really do the same technique that I do when I debug any sort of front end of the car. And I'm gonna scrub with my bug sponge, not too heavily, because I don't want to do a bunch of scratching or anything like that. And I'm gonna use this brush to actually get into these cracks and crevices down here. That's much easier to reach with some sort of like bristles, fibers, things like that. But the reason I'm using this is because because not only is it extremely strong cleaner, but it's an acid-based cleaner, and it tends to react with these bug guts very well to break them down. Also, it wipes away and cleans away very nicely and very cleanly. And what I mean is that when you use like an all-purpose cleaner or a degreaser, sometimes you hose it off and you have this dry haze of dirt that kind of foam or kind of rises back up. And this just rinses away without that. There's no haze, there's no kind of drying film left over. It rinses away very cleanly. So let me show you guys exactly how I attack this. Very, very, very simple. All right, so you can see that a lot of it is actually still drying because I just kind of very quickly mopped it up with my microfiber towel. But I want to show you guys kind of get, get, give you guys the gist of kind of what's happening here. So if you can see this, yes, there's still some watermarks and stuff because once again, it's drying. But if you look all in here, you really can't see any bugs whatsoever. Now, there are a few spots where the bugs have actually etched in and it's much more obvious on this black piece. So yes, very, very clean, right? Very clean, very nice. And then here's the before, because I didn't do this side, I only did this side. So here is the before right here. You can still see um, a bunch of bugs, I hope, in the camera. See like right here, uh, you can see them up here. Whereas here, there's really just nothing left. You have a shiny black surface, shiny clear coated surface. And you see what I mean when I say that it cleans away very, very cleanly, as in like there's no like residue left, especially down here where I used my uh, wheel brush that's feathered, it gets into all of these tiny, tiny spaces. And of course, there's a ton of like rock chips and stuff and that's just road rash, like there's no way to get around that, that's not a cleaning issue. But check that out, it just cleans so nicely, it cleans so cleanly, and it sounds so weird to say it that way, but it just washes away so cleanly, there's no residue left behind, it really just attacks the heavy, heavy buggage really, really well. So once again, McGuire 
Meguiar's Wheel Brightener is really what I reserve when I'm dealing with heavy bugs, heavy, difficult to remove, and there's just a lot of them. In a lot of ways, you can actually remove bugs without water, and I'll definitely make future videos about that. But when you have just a ton of bugs that have been stuck there for the, just a long period of time, a lot of times you just need some sort of hose, some sort of water source to just make it much quicker, not spend so much time and get all those cracks and crevices. So once again, I use my Meguiar's Wheel Brightener, diluted five to one, okay, five to one dilution, and then I used my bug sponge, and I used my wheel brush. This is feathered at the end, so it's very safe. It's not gonna scratch, but this bug sponge, a lot of people are really against it. They say it's gonna scratch things up, but the fact of it is, when it's a daily driver like this, when there's a ton of road rash on the front of the car, chips and stuff like that already, and they're not looking to kind of maintain their car in the first place, they just want all those bugs removed so that they can go ahead and wash it and improve it a little bit, a bug sponge is just a very good way to go. It's not a Lamborghini. I'm not trying to perfect the paint on this. It's impossible to perfect it. Has it been maintained? But with this bug sponge, it's going to really aggressively remove all of those bugs because there's so much volume. There's such a heavy concentration of them piled on the front. So there you go. That's my quick tip for how to remove heavy, heavy bugs on the front end of vehicles, specifically on these chrome plated pieces, on these clear coated pieces, and on the paint. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below. I'll be sure to read it and get back to you guys. And of course, if you're new here, then consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos just like this for the professional detailers on products, tools, strategies, business skills, communication skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help you guys become more successful in your professional auto detailing business. And on this channel, I share the exact strategies that allowed me to turn my auto detailing business into a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if you're interested in that, definitely consider subscribing. And of course, if you guys would like to buy any of the tools or products I used in this video, the wheel brightener, the bug sponge, um, anything like that, I'll hook up links to Amazon in the description box below to all of those products and tools. And if you'd like to purchase them, definitely use my links because it gives this channel a small commission when you go through my links. And it helps this channel stay alive so that I can continue to get, give out awesome content just like this on a daily basis. Once again, thank you guys so much for being involved and watching. And from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, Keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.